Yo, what's up guys? Chase to the Finish back at it again, and today I'm going to be talking about the future December update of GTA Online, but I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet and just tell you all the facts that we have right now. But before I get started, I would like to say thank you to NunuTaylor04 for hosting this job, and don't forget to check out the GTA live streams, which I do almost every single day. I'm on the grind to $100 million, and I'm helping viewers reach that goal as well. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notifications every single time I go live or post a video. And also hit that like button. I appreciate that a ton. Now, over the last few days, a few tips came out on the GTA Online forums, and we have found that the new DLC will be something not dealing with cops and robbers, but dealing with heists. On the forum for updates and leaks of GTA Online, Test One 2 came out with some more information. As you looked into the information that changed within the code within free mode, the code then led him to state that the DLC looks like this will be heist related, pointing out some key items such as a function that disables certain features for this new lobby. The function actually disables a heist related feature that allows you to join a heist. It also disables activities like golf, tennis, arm wrestling, and more. This all makes sense for a heist, but it makes no sense for one to go on within a different free mode lobby. We do know that we have had setups pat in the past where we're in a free learn lobby and we do them. That's with the Doomsday Heist, but this one looks like it's taking it to a whole new level. As Rockstar stated before when they wanted to go ahead and vamp up their heist, they said that they could do it better. And it looks like Rockstar will be taking the whole heist into a free mode lobby. But when this came out, this led many to the point of a casino heist. The heist, however, would most likely not be a normal heist since we own part of the casino. So you wouldn't rob the casino itself because this would be you robbing yourself. Plus it would be way too much money being made way too fast. Rockstar would lose out a ton on this. The information then led to the thought of a continuation of a storyline dealing with the cowboy that took over the casino. He was troubled before so he may be starting trouble again. This also makes sense since the final cutscene of the casino mission is a cliffhanger. And actually somebody went into the game with a program called Code Walker and it allows you to free cam wherever you want to go in the lobby during cutscenes or any time. And somebody free cammed during the end of that cutscene where Vincent walks off. He walks out through the front doors. And right after Vincent walks out the front doors, the cowboy then leaves and leaves to the same exact location to where Vincent is standing and they begin to talk off camera. So this med led many to believe that Vincent and the cowboy could be working together and there may be something happening to the casino and you might have to save it. There's no real true or undoubtful ending to this cutscene, but we did see that now. So most people are really vamping it up with the thought of a continuation of something bad going on. As well, the casino missions paid out like heist. 50k for fir first time bonuses and 1 million dollars in a car for doing them all in order. And having to own a penthouse to access them, they worked like the first heist that ever came out or even Doomsday. They had setups, payouts, locations in order to access them that you had to own. Now we just need a finale or a true start to the madness. Tezfun2 also added on to the information stating that Rockstar will limit player count in the lobby and the amount of what you can do and as seeing as all activities are disabled, it should be a heist but for some reason just in free round. He follows it with like a nightclub mixed with heist sort of thing. Setups but you have the freedom of free roam whilst you accomplish the activities. On top of all this, we found out that all the recent DLCs were based off of cut content from DLCs beforehand. The After Hours had details from the next gen files that had a mention of dancing minigame in the Cup of Hama Mama's interior. The casino was known as cut content since 2014. Arena's Wars was discovered from the Cut Maze Bank rear Arena interior. And then the biggest thing that comes out of all of this is the person that walks around with the briefcase, it's a security guard that walks around the casino, 
and you could see him there every single day between 3 and 3 30 p.m est you can adjust that to your time zone depending on where you are but he only comes in that 30 minute interval for everybody he shows up he walks to a safe or he gets on the elevators which no one else accesses except for them and he goes to locations and then walks out gets in the brinks truck or the secure security truck and leaves now, whenever you try to go near these elevators that he accesses, uh, the lady that's in charge of the casino tells you to step away. She doesn't want you near them. She warns you just to make room or stay away or please move away from the elevator. So there could be something going on with that. Now, also, if you look on her desk, on her computer, there is a image of a security camera that shows the safe big huge safe vault within the casino and it shows that it's closed but you never get to see it open at all and it sort of looks like it's on a lapsed time so as we look into all of this all the clues are pointing towards something dealing with money going on within the casino so the cowboy has taken over and now all these events start and it looks like either the casino's losing money or they're pumping money into something else that he may own. So you gotta try to save the casino and work back to it so you might have to rob somebody else's business or it might be just some way to get all this money back to the casino, take it back over, get rid of the cowboy, bring back people that were here before. We will have to see what happens. And Rockstar has also edited the security trucks and the guards to arrive at the casino at the certain times, but it's also a function that they can disable. So although it's vamped up now that they come at the same time, it's also something that they can change, that they can shut off, that they can stop from happening at any time. So they might do that as we approach the DLC to show that something has happened and we need to fix it. And they also comment on the Newswire on their recent post stating that to keep up to date in the coming weeks for update information. And as before, I have stated that this weekend we shouldn't be expecting too much. December 13th should be the trailer, and the 17th should be the DLC, which is a Tuesday. And we have lots of news constantly coming in, so if you guys want to stay up to date, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell button to get notifications. I hope I kept this short and sweet, unlike other GTA YouTubers, and I hope my driving was better than them as well. Don't want to mention any names, but in the end, I would like to thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Ring that bell to get notifications every time I post a video or go live. We got a great amount of stuff coming here soon, and I hope to enjoy it all with you guys. Let's try to get to 3,000 subscribers as soon as possible. Thank you guys for all the support. I've been Chase to Finish. Hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you in the next video and or stream. I'm out. Peace.